Yes guys, welcome back to another Fantasy Football Fix YouTube video. My name is FPL Nacho and we are going into the last game week before the World Cup. I cannot believe how quickly we have gotten to this point. But game week 16 is here and importantly, we need to make sure that our transfers are as effective as as possible going into this game week so thankfully you have stopped onto this video as we are going to be looking at those top transfers going into this weekend so of course guys if you are new around here make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button and if you enjoy what you are watching we really appreciate if you could like the video to share the love we're going to be looking at the top three transfers going into game week 16 i really really think some of these are going to explode this week so let's get started with the very first one going into game week 16. now that man is going to be the return of Dejan Kulisevsky finally back in the FPL conversation after quite a lengthy injury it is worth noting returned for the final period against Liverpool picking up an instant assist for Harry Kane and it's fantastic to see him back on on the plate for us in FPL because last season he was such a fantastic option when he did join the league halfway through really kind of stepped onto the scene and really delivered week in week out we remember that game week 38 performance against Norwich I remember I did own him last season and I really think if we are looking for a one week punt they don't come much better than Kulisewski now Tottenham have a fantastic home fixture against a Leeds team who conceded three goals against Bournemouth in game week 15 now this isn't going to be an easy for fixture for Spurs it is worth noting Leeds historically this season have performed against the big teams Liverpool and Chelsea just to name a few so I don't necessarily think this is going to be an easy game but Last game before the World Cup, in front of the home fans, I am anticipating Spurs to have a positive result here. And with the return of Kulisewski, I think this only improves their attack. Looking at his stats so far this season, he's only played eight games, and it's worth noting his minutes have been a little bit sporadic over that period due to injury. But one goal and four assists is okay reading, considering how in and out he has been in the team. And the expected FPL points per 90 of 6.17 just highlights the kind of creative nature that he has in this team. He's delivering in about top 10 of the expected FPL points per 90 for midfielders. And I really think that he is the sort of player that has that high ceiling that we are looking for in regards to FPL options. Now, in terms of a goal scorer versus creator, he very much so is that creator in the Spurs team. I think there are better options out there if you want to go for just a natural goal scorer. He's currently 7th best for expected assists per 90 at 0.27. So as I mentioned, kind of justifying the tag that he's got of being a creator in this Spurs team. And you'll notice on the screen here that is 2.6 projected points for game week 16 aren't really glamorous reading. And I have to admit, they don't necessarily fill you with much excitement, but... Again, with the fantasy football fix algorithm points, we do make these based on underlying stats and expected minutes. And of course, because we haven't really had much from Kulisewski over the last few months, his projected points are naturally going to be quite low. But with the anticipation of him starting this fixture, I really think that those projected points can be taken with a pinch of salt, really, because if he does start this game, and Spurs do come out the blocks against this Leeds team, who historically this season have been slow burners in games, and they almost need to go down one or two to really kickstart into life. We can hope that this Spurs game is going to be one of those where Spurs just blow them out of the water and don't give Leeds an opportunity to get back into the game. And I think if you right now are in a position where your midfield is starting to open up, you maybe have a slot around £8 million that you need to invest I think Kulisewski is the man to go for. Saka, Madison, all fantastic options. But this is the real differential if you are sat at a rank that you do not want to be at right now. This is the man that could claw you back from the depths of those millions rank. It's worth noting as well, this goes for all the transfers. We get unlimited free transfers during the World Cup. So we only have to view these as a one-week punt. And this man is top of the list for me. So... Next up, we're going to cover a man that has been in so many of our videos recently and he continues to knock on the door as a brilliant transfer. And this man is going to be Darwin Nunes. Have we seen a player like this in the Premier League over the past few seasons? I see a lot of people calling him raw talent. I think sometimes raw talent is just another word for saying 
rubbish in the game. And I think a lot of that conversation was about Darwin Nunes. But you cannot take the, your eyes off this man. He is always involved in the game. And he is always going to be a threat against any defence that he is coming up against. And the underlying numbers just show that. Eight games so far for Liverpool, three goals, but it's really the underlying stats which are really kind of blowing my mind when we do look at it. Now, we have to remember that we're comparing Darwin Nunes to a literal machine in Erlen Haaland. So if Erlen Haaland wasn't in the league, Kane and Darwin Nunes would be getting so much more love than they are so far this season. But look, expected goals per 90, 0.77 is the third best of all forwards, only Callum Wilson and Erlen Haaland are above him in that department. Shots per 90, 6.24 is by far the most of any forward in the league. I believe about by two. I think Mitrovic is second best at about 4.5. So we're looking at a beast here right now. And even in the expected assists, he is top for expected assists per 90 at 0.36. The narrative right now has been Darwin Nunes, an absolute ball hog, isn't sharing it out. Well, you're looking at here for the expected assists. He is delivering in that department as well. So for 8.9 million, we are getting an absolute unpredictable monster who is about to explode at any point. And I honestly think that this could happen in this Southampton game. It's worth noting as well, the expected FPL points per 96.93 is is ridiculous as well and he very much is a player that is completely underperforming in regards to his underlying stats and again that is the sort of thing that I am looking for when I am looking to bring in a one week pump because we want to have those players that have the capability of having those incredibly high ceilings and this man if he does click has exactly got that now as I said 8.9 million for a forward could scream an opportunity for a lot of managers out there a few forwards in the game right now have red flagged or yellow flagged Mitrovic we don't know the injury status on him right now with the ankle some rumors that he is not going to be available for game week 16 others think he will we need to monitor monitor that but Mitrovic replacements Darwin is the man Calvert-Lewin is a risk for game week 16 I think Darwin Nunes is an amazing replacement and of course Callum Wilson going off that illness if he doesn't recover in time and you have the money available Darwin Nunes is your go-to move. And we have to remember the fixture against Southampton haven't necessarily got that new manager bounce. They have sacked Hassan Hutel. While they may have a manager in charge before this game, I don't necessarily think we're going to see any sort of new manager bounce for this fixture. And the thing that I do find a little bit of a problem right now with Liverpool is the unpredictability that we are seeing them with their team. They go and beat one of the best teams in the world right now in Napoli. They go and beat Tottenham and then they go lose against Leeds. So I can't necessarily sit here and tell you exactly what kind of Liverpool we are going to get. But what I can guarantee you is an all-action display from someone like Darwin Nunes. And he is going to be absolutely in and amongst it if Liverpool are going to get a positive result against Southampton. I can guarantee that. It's worth mentioning as well, for game week 16, he has the fifth highest projected points of all players at 5 Point nine. Of course, Erlen Haaland is leading the way if he is past fit for game week 16. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments in regards to Darwin Nunes. I think he is an unbelievable one-week punt. So last up, we're going to touch on another player that is going to be probably not spoken about enough. And I think he is available to a lot of managers if you want to go down this route. Now, surprisingly to some, this guy on screen, Ivan Perisic, might not be at the top of your agenda right now, but he is certainly one of the transfers that I potentially have planned going into game week 16. Now, I think a lot of people have a similar kind of narrative for Perisic so far this season. He's been an FPL troll. We've had such high hopes for him. I think a lot of us have touted him as going to be the best value defender in the game. But he hasn't really lived up to that potential. Now, it's worth noting, from an underlying stats perspective... I'm seeing really good things from Ivan Perisic. He's top for the expected assists per 90 at 0.36. He has the third best expected goals as well, it's worth noting. Again, hasn't scored so far this season, but has been in amongst it from an underlying stats perspective. And as you can see, they have four assists so far this season. It's decent viewing. Now, the big factor for Perisic going into game week 16, because we need to remember this is all about a one-week punt, he has moved position due to injuries in the Spurs side 
playing either alongside Kane in a front two or potentially in a front three going into game week 16. Now, it's worth noting, I can't sit here and confidently tell you that Perisic will guarantee to play in that front three because I do believe with the return of Kulisevsky, we are likely to see the return of maybe a 3-4-3 formation. And with Son's injury, I believe he's going to be ruled out for game week 16 and a risk for the World Cup. We could potentially see a front three of Perisic off the left, Kane down the middle and Kulisevsky off the right with Ryan Sessegnon being deployed as a left wing back. Now again, a lot of ifs and buts around this narrative of Ivan Perisic, but if the press conferences do reveal some information that Conte is opting for this strategy, I think at 5.5 million, this is one of the best punts going into game week 16. Now we need to remember that Perisic is classed as a defender in FPL, so if Spurs pick up a positive result and Perisic can pick up an attack and return and they win by not conceding a goal, we are looking at a monster haul for Perisic. Not only will he potentially get those attack and returns, but that six point for a clean sheet will naturally put him into the bonus point equation. And at 4.3 projected points for game week 16, he is the fifth best projected points for all defenders. But I really think he has that ceiling there to get up and above to a double digit haul for game week 16. Now, I put corners per 90 on screen there, and it's somewhat of a bit of a controversial metric for us to look at, but it is worth noting Spurs from set pieces this season have been fantastic. And while Son is absent from the team, Perisic has been a natural successor to him on corners. And with him taking it from both sides sometimes, this is another string to his bow that potentially may offer some assist potential as an FPR option. So again, guys, I can't guarantee you he's going to play in the front three, but if we get any sort of inkling that he might do, this man is to own if you are looking for a defensive transfer. And I almost wouldn't necessarily treat it as a defensive transfer, more like an attacking wingback option for your teams and one that I am personally considering in my team. So guys, that is going to wrap up the top three transfers going into game week 16. It would be amazing if you guys could let us know in the comments which players are you targeting is Perisic, Darwin Nunes or Kulisevsky anywhere near your kind of transfer plans? Or is there another player that is top of your list? I would love to know in the comments, guys. And of course, we are still dropping plenty of content between now and the World Cup. We will have our Friday stream back this Friday covering off any last questions that you have going into the weekend's deadline. So make sure you are hitting that subscribe button, guys. Make sure you do drop a like on the video and we will see you in the next video. Take care. Cheers.